Hello guys and welcome to my review of the VOIQ wireless neckband headphones. These were given to me for review by the company. Basically these are your typical neckband design earbuds. They sit over your neck essentially to be worn for most of the day. So you're able to pull the earbuds out, let them rest on the, uh, basically on your chest and go about your business without any uh, infractions from the headphones themselves. Another cool thing is that the earbuds themselves here magnify and remain attached to each other for easy stowing away. However, these do not come with a case, but for putting them in wherever you're gonna store them, kind of keeps the, the tangulation at a minimum. The box here is fairly simple. As you can see here, wireless smart sports headset is what it says on the side. Over here, it gives a rundown of the features. 380 hours of standby seven and a half hours of music or call interaction. It has a 10 meter or 30 feet distance from the source. It's sweat proof. It's fairly lightweight. High quality sound effects, neckband design, easy to carry and movement. Back here, you can pause the video to get a better uh, look at the back of the box. All right, let's get to the inside of the box here. All right, now inside the earbuds would have been nestled inside this cutout. On the bottom here, you will have micro USB to standard USB charging cable. And also your various ear tips to get the best fit for your ears. Last but not least, the user manual to get you started on how to utilize these earbuds. Now the first category we're going to go over with this product is the price. This is fairly cheap. It's about 25 bucks. And normally I do not review products that are budget or inexpensive because there's a very high chance the quality of that product is going to coexist with that price. And overall, this is somewhat the case here for this product, but I'll get more into detail with that later on. The design, it's fairly simple. Uh, it's all black. It's pretty subdued. It's not much to look at here. Uh, the earbuds themselves have this sort of like, this kind of like spiral design. But other than that, it's a fairly uh, understated and basic design. Build quality, it's pretty decent. It's uh, essentially an all-plastic build, and the air pieces themselves are made out of metal, which is a good plus. Uh, the neckband itself is pretty flexible. As you can see, I can kind of bend it to various different shapes, and I don't really hear any uh, creaks or any kind of noises that will indicate that these might break if I keep doing that. So it's fairly decent. I don't really see you damaging or breaking these under normal wear and tear. However, do keep in mind that this is a plastic build and the wire themselves that connect to the neckband piece is fairly thin and can be easily snapped if caught on something and pulled at a good enough strength. Moving over to the comfort, I found that these are pretty comfortable. The overall weight of this product is pretty light, so when it's on your neck, it really is not that noticeable. The earbuds themselves, if you get that right, ear tip as you can see here, I have a double flanged if you get the right ear tips in your ears you can get a pretty good seal and block out a good amount of noise and remain quite comfortable while doing so so comfort wise these are pretty good in my opinion features uh there's not much really here this has your typical media function controls volume up play pause volume down. If you press and hold this, it'll summon your voice assistant, whether it's the Google Assistant or Siri. Uh, if you basically, uh, let's see, if you double press this, yeah, that's what I was trying to get to. If you double press this, it'll call back the recent call. Uh, if you press and hold this long enough, it'll power on or power off the earbuds. Uh, if you want to skip forward, you got to press and hold the volume up. If you want to skip back, you got to press and hold the volume down. There's LED lights here that indicates if I show you here, I'm going to power it up. All 
right, so basically the lights indicate the battery level and the current pairing uh, mode. When you power them up, if it's not connected to any previous source or if it's not in range of those sources, it automatically goes into a pairing mode. There's no way to put it into pairing mode while it's already paired. These can pair to two different sources at the same time, which is a great feature. But other than that, feature-wise, there's not much else to talk about. These are pretty much your basic earbuds that just get the fundamentals down pack. Battery life for these is rated at about seven and a half hours. I can vouch for that in terms of my usage case scenario i get about seven hours because i do listen to moderate to typically higher volumes but if you do listen, listen to moderate to lower volumes you could probably squeeze out that extra half an hour of playback out of these overall it's pretty good battery life you don't really see yourself charging these um at the worst possible time if you do forget to charge these that might be the case but seven and a half hours should be pretty good for a decent uh week or so of usage Bluetooth connection wise, stability, I did not really find an issue with these. Uh, these remained connected to my source pretty decently well. There were some times when it did cut out, but that's usually in very high dense areas with a lot of radio signals going on, usually in the middle of Manhattan. There's a bunch of people out there with their phones, their headsets. So there's so many different radio waves that can interfere with the signal, but these do remain pretty solid connection about 90% of the time. Uh, the codecs that are supported are your standard SBC and your A. AC codec, which is good for iOS devices. These unfortunately do not support Aptex or Aptex HD or Sony's LDAC uh, codec. So in terms of high fidelity audio over Bluetooth, it's not going to really be possible with these, but this is not really their uh, strong point, obviously due to the price. And clearly they're aiming more for just your everyday casual listener or someone who just needs these for uh, using them while they're being active in the gym or outside. Call quality, the microphone on these are pretty good. I don't really have any issues with callers saying that they can't hear me, or I don't really have any issues of me being able to hear the other person on the other end of the line. So these do block out a good amount of background sounds and don't really have much of an issue of letting your voice come through and be heard by the other person over the line. So pretty good for that. Most importantly is the sound quality. Overall, the audio quality on these are okay. They're about decent-ish. Uh, there's a lot of flaws that I can pick up immediately. But for just popping these in just to hear some music in the background while you're doing something and you don't really want to focus in on the music, uh, I find that these are pretty good for that. Uh, these are also probably good for workout because you're not going to really be focusing on the quality of the sound when you're doing your workout. You're more focused on getting that workout done. Uh, Bass-wise, the bass on these are very exaggerated, but they're not overly blown out to where the rest of the frequencies are completely inaudible but the bass on these are very exaggerated and they are unnatural sounding it has kind of like a one-tone droney kind of characteristic however it's not uh completely blown out like i said previously to the point where the other frequencies cannot be heard easily uh moving over to the mid-range the vocals do sound relatively natural in tonality however the quality and the level of uh resolution in the in the mid-range does uh suffer a bit it doesn't have that uh sense of focus and that sense of uh subtle layering in the mid-range frequencies but then again these are about $25, so there's not much to expect in terms of the resolution in the mid-range, which is a very difficult frequency to reproduce by the speaker. Usually this is a frequency where the speaker begins to struggle in terms of getting that last bit of resolution and detail and clarity. Lastly, we have the treble. Treble response on these are pretty present. They're relatively crisp. However, they can sound uh, coarse and sibilant when pushed to moderate to a little bit higher than moderate volumes. Vocals do come across as sounding a bit unnatural at the very top end spectrum, especially when it's a lot of high uh, notes and very complex uh, uh, layering in the the music, especially around the cymbals and just generally the high pitch vocals. It can sound pretty coarse and uh, pretty grainy and uh, unrefined in that respect. Soundstage wise is pretty decent. It does give you a relatively good sense of uh, position and depth, width, and just being able to discern where instruments are placed in the sound field. However, overall, the sound is decent. It's okay. Uh, for 25 bucks, the sound is better than what I thought it would be. But generally speaking, this will be a great 
uh, product for you if you just need music in the background. You're not really focusing on all the details. You just need something pretty affordable to use when you're doing maybe some household chores or you're just walking around and you just need maybe like a podcast uh, product, something to listen to, uh, audio books or listen to videos. The lag on this in terms of the... Um, Audio lag in terms of watching videos is pretty minimal on these, so you can use these for uh, movie playback. Uh, if you're athletic and you want to go outside, take a quick jog, these are pretty good for that as well. But for a critical listener, audiophile, these are not what you want to use. The sound quality just isn't uh, near that level of uh, standard. So in conclusion, these are pretty great value for the price, 25 bucks. They have a lot of the fundamental features down packed, pretty good battery life, uh, the controls are pretty good. They handle everything you need. You can summon your voice assistant. Uh, you can control your uh, media playback volume up, uh, skip forward, skip back. Also, you have the ability to pair the two devices at the same time. So fundamentally, these do tick all the boxes. So this is a very good product for the price. Uh, I highly recommend them for those who just need a casual pair of earbuds for just simple use, not non-critical. I highly emphasize non-critical audio uh, listening. Other than that, highly recommend it. Thanks for watching this review, guys. If there's anything that you may have wanted to know more about this product, just feel free to post in the comments below, and I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. Later.